90 degrees. Okay, flatten out. You can stay flat for the uh, majority of these, this session. Um, anyone have trouble with that? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. When I when I when I when I rolled the, the wrist on the right to to get the to get the leg yeah. in, like I, I would like usually like get it like too like too low. Too low every time? Yeah. So what happens when you get too low right here, what do you need to do? Tuck it in. Yeah, and actually I it, you know I'm going so fast I gotta slow down here. Usually I do this this whole series in eight hours. I'm doing it in two, so I forgive me. This foot though, I'll do a little windshield wiper technique here. So I'll go here. So if I raise here, I'm still not where I want to be. There's still going to be a big gap, so I'm going to do a windshield wiper, slide it up. Does that help you? Yeah. All right. It does? Yeah. All right. Figure four to here. Now, talked about locking the hip out. How do we do that? Just slide the knee up. Watch what happens to his leg. Put your leg straight. Watch what happens to his leg. And that's the other thing to check yourself. If you look back, and your foot's not deep and or you don't see that leg in the air, his hip's not going to be locked out. I see a lot of guys, even at the NCAA tournament, you know, in the, even in the NCAA finals, they get here. And they're wondering why they don't get that final turn. It's because really, they didn't lock things up tight and they didn't, they didn't get the right start. All right? And also, they didn't turn the head the right way. All right? I got two inventions in wrestling. And uh, see, now I'm... On, on the internet here talking, so I better be careful, but uh, at least I invented it myself. Maybe other people did the same. One's the ladle and the other one's, um, what is the other one? Egg beaters. Egg, egg beaters. All right, so we'll go over both of those. You guys hungry now? Talk about <coughs> eggs. All right, so, um, boot, boots in, figure four. Now what I'm gonna do is slide my knee out. I'm over far shoulder. I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to bring my hips back like a crouching tiger. Okay, and then I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive over this shoulder, push off with my toe. When I do that, I get the full extension. When I'm at full extension, I shock his hips. How do I do that? Slam my hips in, bringing my knee out and up. That shocks his hips. Come here, shock his hips. Here's my ladle. Now this is my invention, you ready? Everyone do this, like you're going full extension on a motorcycle. All right, ladle, or you're ladling soup out of a bowl. I come underneath his chin. Here's how most people facelift, like this, right? Well, go ahead and turn your head. Even if I get here and get a good one, see how he turns his head? Now I'm gonna come in with a ladle, turn your head. It actually helps my move. It turns him for me. So easy, and yet we don't do it, right? Okay, so that's my ladle, but here's what you guys are going to do. Oh, ladle, yeah, right. All right, fulcrum. You know what a fulcrum is? You put, put the stake in the ground, dig the rock out, right? Same thing here. There's a fulcrum point. That's his shoulder. So I'm going to come here, down and in, and I'm going to twist. And that leverage brings his head up. Okay? Twist and ladle. Got it? All right, so how do we turn this guy? What's turning him? My ladle with my upper body, right? And what with my lower body? My hips. Specifically, my hips locking his hip out and electrocuting him. Here, drive, flip, ladle. Dig it out. Then I'm gonna just punch my fist to the mat and catch his head like a football. Make his tea chatter, you hear that? <laughs> Then we spike. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Hold that under. All right. So in a match, you know, you're kind of going to see it like this. So that was good technique. Why? For those of you guys who've been to boot camps uh, in the past, you see me kind of do like a like I'm surfing, like ride the ride the wave there. Did you see that? That means that he's carrying all my weight. Here's what we do. Here's what wrestlers do in high school here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to turn him. Yeah, you turned his uh, lower body, but his torso's not turned. And all the weight's off him, and now it's like a massage for him. We want to keep our hips square to the mat, driving, still carrying, still carrying, and go. And by the way, when I get to here, I'm not nice and I come like this, you know. 
I get here and I slide my wrist against his face and catch. So I go here and then I punch, catch. One more time, then we're going to go out and try it. So if you've been daydreaming, wake up. All right. Now, 90 degrees. Tuck that elbow so you don't hurt yourself. All right. Again, see I'm too deep. So I got, what do I have to do? Take leg out, windshield wiper in, slide knee up under armpit. And I'm not going to stay like this in a match, because what's he going to do? He's going to come up and hit me down real fast. Go. And we'll have to do a seatbelt. We'll talk about seatbelts later. Or actually, maybe we won't. But uh, that's what the technique, if they do that to you, seatbelt your own leg. It's like locking hands. It's a beautiful way to cheat under the rules. Okay? Like curl, knee out, pounce, crouching tiger, hidden dragon, drive, electrocute, lay it off, catch his head like a football, spike it, pull it under. Get your points. And then just, once you get your five, let him back over. Let go of the upper body, keep the figure four, and take them over again. You get a lot of points real quick. Got it? Go.